Today we're going to talk about Maven clad. Year two, week two, day 10. And I'm going to share my experience with you. But before I do, I'm Jenda Tracy. I'm the founder of Women Thriving with MS. And I've been living with MS for over 12 years now. Here's the key. If you want to hear more about Maven clad and know that I'm one of the first people that is not a doctor, a patient, <laughs> that has taken Maven Clad and documented my journey all during year one. And now I'm doing that during year two. And I'm doing this as a gift to you because when I first started Maven Clad or when I was thinking of starting it, there was very little information out from the patient perspective. And it was really hard for me to make that decision about Maven Clad and understand what some of the side effects would be, how I could function on a day-to-day -day basis on Maven Clad, the pros and cons that other people had experienced. So I wanted to take that information and put it in a video for you. So here we are talking about year two, week two. If you haven't subscribed already, be sure to do that. Comment, like this video. Maven Clad are the most popular videos that I talk about on my Women Thriving with MS YouTube channel, even though there's tons of other goodness there about mindset and other ways to move forward in your life where you can go from that place of surviving with MS to striving with MS to maybe even thriving with MS. So let's get started. Let me tell you about the side effects that I've experienced. Now I have done a video about the first day that I took Maven Clad as well as day three and the side effects so far. So I'm going to fill in from there. If you want those videos, you can look below or there'll be a little pop-up on this video telling you where those videos are and you can click on them if you want to start there. I They're in a playlist called Maven Clad 2 and I also have a uh, Maven Clad playlist, Maven Clad for MS, playlist number one on this channel. So lots of goodness for you there. The reason I am taking Maven Clad year two, three years after taking Maven Clad year one, which is abnormal, is because there was the pandemic. I had a lot of work to do. And in the first year of Maven Clad, I had heaps and heaps of fatigue that made it very difficult to work. And also, also I had a vision to do some traveling. I've been very fortunate to be able to come back even three years later and do Maven Clad year two, and it has been a long time. So I was curious, what would I experience this time side effect wise versus last time? And I felt immediate effects in my body right from the day that I took the first two tablets in day one, week one of Maven Clad. Now we're at 10 days. And what I'd like to do is work backwards just for a moment here on this. And as I do that, I just want to share this thought that the reason why I'm taking Maven Clad is because of prevention for further progression. I'm 57. After I took year one of Maven Clad, I did not have any documented lesion progression, but I did have some major symptoms that showed up for me that revisited over and over again, mainly vertigo and chronic fatigue, <laughs> which is a constant. And I realized that as I get older, prevention is an even bigger priority for me. And so that's why I'm back on Maven Clad year two. Okay. So at day 10, one of the things that has been happening since day five, I think it's day five. Let me look at my notes. No, day four is that I have been sneezing like a monster. Okay. Like really loud sneezes. In fact, yesterday I had this huge sneeze while I was holding my cell phone and it flew out of my hand. Thankfully it has a good case and it didn't break. That's how big my sneezes were and loud since day four. And even today on day 10, I am taking allergy pills. Now, as you know, you can't take anything three hours before you take Maven Clad or three hours after. So you need to plan on that. That is specifically during the time that you have the five days of actually taking the tablets. After that, it doesn't matter. You can, you can go back to your regular routine, but that is a note to make. 
So I wasn't able on day four or day five to take those, or uh, yeah, yeah, day four and day five to take those allergy pills until three hours out. But I have to say it did make a difference in terms of drying things up. I do feel quite congested. I already have issues at times with sinuses. So that has been pretty a pretty big deal over the last couple of days. And I use something called respiratory uh, gymnastics, which is a healing breath technique that I learned from my homeopathic doctor who does Qigong. And that information is available in my course called the MS Stress Release Process. So if you're interested in that, you can uh, check that out. I'll put a link below. That has been a big thing for me to have this congestion and, you know, some pain in my ears and just feel kind of stuffed up. I thought maybe it was cold. I was worried maybe it was something more serious, but it hasn't really gotten out of control. I don't have infection in terms of yellow phlegm. I do have some white phlegm that's coming up or clear phlegm. So I'm just monitoring that and I'm consistently taking my vitamins and following my regular protocol and routine. Now that has been kind of annoying at times. I didn't want to get on camera until I had been on my allergy pill for a couple of hours because I'd probably be sneezing right here in these monster sneezes and you'd be like, I'm getting back out of here. I'm not watching this video anymore. The other thing is that Mavenclad does dry out your system. You're talking low dose chemo medication that's doing its work, killing those T and B cells. Uh, so the MS tack in the brain is intentionally being reduced. But in the process, there is these side effects that come up. So I started to have stomach discomfort in the mornings and at nights while I was taking the medication. Now on day 10, I feel a little bit of discomfort in my stomach in the morning. Once I get up and I drink a big glass of water and get moving and use the bathroom, that usually dissipates. The good news is after I finish taking my first round of the tablets of Mavenclad, that some of those symptoms at least lessened for me. The dryness in my eyes is quite extreme. I couldn't take the eye drops three hours before or after. So I had to just suck it up with the dry eyes. <laughs> That's that's what happened there. Other than that, I was having some headaches that were happening uh, post taking Mavenclad tablets on week one. Uh, that is for the most part has been pretty good. I had one day that was on Sunday. So we're looking at day seven. So two days out of not taking tablets that I felt so lethargic. Like it was really hard for me. I had brain fog and I was really navigating my day in a way that was a bit difficult. And that was on my birthday of all days, my goodness. So that was frustrating and I was a little worried that that would persist, but I have to say that yesterday, which is was Monday, even though I didn't sleep as well because I had some leg discomfort, I still felt more energy than the day before. So that was good. And that has been something that's been consistent throughout the, the first day. Uh, I started to notice leg discomfort. I thought it was in both my legs, but eventually I realized, no, it was predominantly in the left leg. And over time, after I finished day five of pills and moved on to day six, it was less. It was still sore at night. And when I was laying on the table at my chiropractor, that kind of thing, However, it dissipated and I was like, yes. And then for some reason on Sunday night, it was really bad. Now I have to admit that on Saturday, so that would have been day six at that point, I had done quite a bit of walking that day. So maybe that agitated it and that made it more difficult on Sunday. And maybe just even that exercise with my energy being a little lower by being on the medication made Sunday a very lethargic day. I'll have to play around with on the days that I do more exercise and see what's different now that I'm in the treatment of Mavenclad. I've been, I feel like I've been fortunate, honestly, around the symptoms, not to say each day I, I, I was feeling great. And also I was just so happy, so joyous when I finished that first six tablets. I took two on day one and then one on the rest of the day. So I just felt like, oh my goodness, I'm done. <laughs> but you know, the work begins in your system even after the tablet. So yeah, it's a shock to your system when you, you take those uh, tablets because 
your body is being introduced to a foreign substance and, you, and it's like, what the heck's going on? However, the immune system is going down, down, down as you continue with the treatment, even between the end of week one and before you start week five. That's what it's doing. It's doing its job. So who knows how I'll feel next week? Maybe I'll feel more fatigued. Maybe I'll be okay. We'll see. I'll keep you posted. I promise that I will shoot another video before I do week five of year two so that I can keep you posted. Thank you for showing up here today. I hope you watch the other Maven Clad videos as well as the MS Mindsets. And there's so much good goodness for you here that I've poured out to you in these videos on the Women Thriving with MS channel. If you haven't liked this video, be sure to do that. Comment below. I love it. I respond to comments and give the thumbs up, a heart, whatever speaks to you. I'm Jenda Tracy and I will see you soon.